Large crowds of protesters angry over a deadly police shooting shut down a major highway near Pittsburgh overnight. The protest halted traffic for hours. It marked the second day of unrest following Tuesday's shooting of an unarmed teen. Cell phone video shows Antoine Rose Jr. running from police before he was shot. Tarika Duncan is outside the Allegheny County Courthouse in Pittsburgh where yesterday's protests began. Tarika, good morning. Good morning. It was largely peaceful here Thursday afternoon, but those crowds grew confrontational at times by nightfall. Protesters say that they want justice for Antoine Rose as we now learn more about the officer who opened fire on him. We don't get it. Shut it down. Protesters faced off against police as they halted traffic on a major interstate for over five hours Thursday night. It was the culmination of a day of rallies and demonstrations across the city. Our streets. Our streets. I'm thinking that the cops should be held accountable. I'm thinking that Antoine should be here. He should not have been killed. Cell phone video shows Antoine Rose Jr. running away from police as he was shot three times. Police say the car Rose was in matched the description of a vehicle involved in a drive-by shooting Tuesday night. Two weapons were found in the car. According to the county district attorney, Rose was unarmed but was carrying an empty handgun clip. The driver of the car was questioned and released. Another suspect is still at large. The officer involved has been identified as Michael Rosfeld. He was sworn into the department about 90 minutes before the deadly shooting, but he had been on duty in East Pittsburgh for three weeks and has been an officer elsewhere in the region since 2011. Sources say he was hospitalized after the incident and later released. The family's attorney says the demonstrations are helping Rose's relatives heal. That family is really hurting right now. Part of the protest, it, it lets them know that, that the community is hurting with them. Officer Rosfeld is on paid leave as authorities conduct an independent investigation into what exactly happened. Now, a local station did speak to Officer Rosfeld, and he said that he's received a lot of support from fellow officers and also that he did not know about the cell phone video that captured the shooting. Gail? Still a lot of questions there. Thank you very much, Dorica.